Hi everyone, Heather Valentine here, and today we are just going to have some fun sketching. I have my desktop all set, have a nice big sheet of paper as you can see. <laughs> this is All this is drawing paper. I have my Sharpie in hand, and we're just going to have fun sketching, doing some loose, big sketching. And it's fun to do that. Uh, you don't have to pay really much attention to a whole lot of time tiny details in this. It's just easy breezy sketching and I'm going to be doing some of my past characters to some of uh, my newer characters to maybe one that I'll just create on the spot uh, today. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, if you ever have a chance just to get a nice big sheet of paper, grab a marker and draw, do it because it really uh, is is fun and allows you in a bigger space not so constricted on your piece of paper but in a bigger space just to uh have fun uh let loose if you want to say and uh draw so let's go ahead and start off with a nose and i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a face here i'm not going to tell you what i'm I'm drawing. The neck, the neck. Turn the body here like this. And as you can see, I'm drawing a tail here. And it is May. And so might as well get a quick kind of mermaid in here. draw in some loose like arms put the hands in like I said this is just some loose sketching let's go ahead and as I'm doing this maybe you'll recognize those of you who are followers of my work, maybe you'll recognize what I'm, or who I'm drawing. And I may go off the camera here a little bit, but we're going to draw a nice, big, tall hat. And let's go ahead and get some hair coming in here. This is a Nomi mermaid and she's down there swimming in the big blue ocean. Get one up here. And let's see. Try to keep as much on the camera. I wish my arms stretched back a little further for you. We'll back it up here in a little bit. Maybe add some pearls, some net. It's just about keeping it loose. There's that. She's got a necklace on here. Staying with the movement. And there we have a little mermaid gnome. Let's go ahead and change gears here. She's one of my newer characters that you've seen. Uh, the gnomes, they started coming out a newer version of my gnomes uh, last year and into this year. But I'm going to go way back, okay? I'm going to go back <laughs> over a decade here, and I'm going to create one of my most beloved characters, and her name is Eleanor. Um, so let's go ahead and get in a face here. And I'm going to kind of move this camera over a little bit. Here we go. I'm just going to get a circle here. Kind of get a guide. Remember, this is just some loose sketching. So there's 
really no big uh, attention to detail here, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw her big eyes. If I get quiet here, don't mind me. I'm just getting into the character here. She's normally seen with her pet frog, Pickles. Let's get her mouth. And she has her gigantic glasses. Which is kind of like her trademark here. Now you may see uh, other characters out there similar to her, but this is, I am the creator of the one and only Eleanor and Pickles, okay? She is uh, always spotted with her big glasses. Sometimes they're in various shapes. Just put in the rocks here. Like I said, sometimes it's just fun just to sit back and and draw big style like this. And sometimes her hair varies. Sometimes she's got it in her ponytails. Sometimes she's got it up. We'll put a bow here. And normally I have her in her famous turtleneck. So we're going to go ahead and put on her outfit here and get her skirt oversized. Let's go ahead and Get her high tops on there. Now let's see, the very first Eleanor I created, she was holding, she was known as Eleanor Bookworm, along with Eleanor Book of Spells. She had her, her, her magical frog pickles there. Always have a backstory to my characters, okay? They're, they're what I breathe uh, life into with my pencil, or in this case, my pen. And, and uh, in my mind, they come to life, so they have to have a backstory. I'm just going to go ahead and do the original sketch I did many years ago. There's another stack of books, and let's draw in her hand. And there we go. Her, her high tops and of course she has her her stockings one striped one there and there we have my Eleanor and Pickles or my Eleanor now let's add Pickles to the mix Pickles like I said it's her pet magical frog Gotta have his tongue sticking out there a little bit.
And there we have Mermaid Nomi. Let's see what else we can draw here. I have to get another bigger sheet of paper here. Let's go back and do something. Oh, let's see. Well, we have Layla Boo. She was Layla Boo Sweet Meadow Fairy. Okay. She was done way back in, in uh, 2014. And we're going to squeeze her in here a little bit. Let's go ahead and start with the head. And let's get our line for our eyes in here. I'm telling you, it is really fun just to draw on a wide scale. And I encourage any of you uh, to do it. Get her eyes in here. And let's see her little nose. And let's do a mouth. She's kind of smiling here. Let's add her little freckles. And then let's start adding her hair. She's got the cutest little ears. A little more pointy chin. And since she's a sweet meadow boo, she usually has her hair in a braid or off to the shoulder ponytail. That is covered with flowers. And let's get our flower going here. And let's go ahead and get her body in a little bit here. And now we're gonna make her Indian style here. Remember, keep it loose. And we're just sketching, so you're going to have lines crossing over like this. Let me see if I bring that down. I might be off the camera. We don't want that. There we go. And she has her oversized pants. Get that. Let's add some more flowers. Zip them in here like that. Now let's draw her hand in here and get her arm. This one's kind of covered up by there, by her hair. Let's see, there's her big toe, her two little ones. And she's sitting in some grass. And she is a fairy, so let's go ahead and draw in some wings like so. Got a little more piece of paper over here. So with that being said, I'm going to go back to another uh, group of characters I created in 2014 and some in 2015. They first debuted uh, in 2014 called Cherish Wings. One of my favorites happens to be Dawn. I want to make sure I'm here on camera. We'll probably overlap on the mermaid, but hey, not a problem. Let's go ahead and get a face in. This one's going to be kind of a, off to the side. So let's get that cheek in. Let's get our eyes kind of in here. And staying with the big, big eyed look. Get our eyes. Her eyes shadow or her eyelashes there. Let's do some get those eyebrows in. Very distinctive as you look through and you can go see my artwork on uh, 
uh, my two websites, coloralloveshop.com or heathervalentinesartworld.weebly.com. I'll put the links in the comment or in the uh, section below uh, for you to come visit my art. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. Subscribe to my channel, by the way, um, and give it a thumbs up if you like. You don't want to miss anything that I add, so that's a good way of subscribing, too, so you're notified. But um, visit my site. I have very distinctive eyes, very distinctive characters. I have backstories, very distinctive eyebrows, everything. Uh, so you want to really pay attention to that. Let's go ahead and... And get her mouth in here and let's draw she's got another little ear here and let's get this hair in the cherished wings characters were little angels that basically had flowers or animals with them very tiny very dainty just very uh cute and elegant i mean they're angels I'm going to kind of sketch in her hair here. She usually has a bow and a flower, so we'll go ahead and add a daisy here with her bow. Remember, not a lot of detail when you're doing the wide, loose sketching like that. And there's her hair. I'm going to cross over into that mermaid. Sorry, little mermaid Nomi. Let's go ahead and draw her, her neck in here. Got her shoulders and her dress. Most of the cherished wings usually had had dresses, not all of them. Chris was one that had uh, pants. But Don, Abigail, um, Constance, they had dresses. Rebecca had a dress. And we're gonna go ahead and stick in her hand. And let's say that she's holding a tulip this time. We're still in spring. There's a tulip. Maybe she's got two. And get her arm in here. There you have her dress. And let's do her wings. And that was originally copyrighted in 2014. This was 2014 too. That was 2011, 2012, and 2000 that. But we just did them now. So we're on May of 2023. Just drew a whole bunch of the same characters just in, in different things, except for, of course, Eleanor. I love drawing the original Eleanor, you know? Even though her hair, like I said, changes from time to time, it's still Eleanor, the one and only Eleanor. So with that being said, I hope you like this easy breezy sketch session. Uh, as you can see, no tracing here by desk, paper. Can't see through this paper anyway. <laughs> but anyway, whoop, there we go. And let me sign this. There we go. Come back next time and see what I'll draw for you. Till then, bye for now.